Good evening. Welcome back to Mystic Matters. We are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Kristen, where have you been? I've been on vacation. I, all summer? I did the vanishing act is what I did. Is that what you did? Was I, the vanishing I didn't act? even put on yeah. my um, vacation responder on my, right, on my email. Right, right. No, I heard. I was like, Nothing. all summer, where's Kristen? All summer long. Where's Kristen? Uh, but we both have had the opportunity to take some time off and come back to film uh, Mystic Matters. And this is something that Kristen and I do uh, really every other week. We miss uh, you. Throughout the year. Well, we miss it's a, you. Well, you know, you have to have some of those vacation times in, and, and, I, and I'm happy to say uh, well needed and, and, and rested. Mm -hmm. and, and you just came back as well, so we're back on track to film a, a lot of great shows. And we've got a lot, a lot of great shows coming up, uh, not only this evening, but for the rest of the holiday season. I didn't even say that, but somebody said it's 100 <laughs> days till Christmas. And when you work retail and own a jewelry store, you remember a hundred days uh, till Christmas. Mm -hmm. But we've got a lot going on, right, down yes. at the chamber, because nothing really stops. Uh, the summer is not over yet, but we do come into the fall season, and we have some opportunities and some great stuff that we're going to report this evening. Yeah, so uh, we have some ribbon cuttings, some new businesses in town. That's great. New members of the Chamber yeah. of Commerce, pleased to announce. Uh, Stiefel Nicholas Incorporated, they great. are opening their new office in Mystic, so welcome to the neighborhood. Where in Mystic? Um, where Merrill Lynch used to be. Okay, so they're, yes. They're over by, um, you know, over by CVS. Up, right, up, that up way. in that area, yes. 27 in, in that, that old way. building. Yeah. Yes. That's funny when I say, you know, where. Right, we <laughs> all remember. Somewhere used to be. <laughs> we all remember where that building, right, right. Some of you in the audience are probably saying, I know what was there 50 yes. years ago. Yeah woman yeah, so I do. um painted piece studio is in the velvet mill and Great. we want to welcome her back she was an artist that um had been in the mystic area before and now she came back oh, and wonderful. she's opening okay. uh september 28th at 4 p.m we're doing a ribbon cutting that'll be fun and then mind matters is adult daycare she's opening an office here she's been successful in old saybrook taking care of uh, people with dementia and Alzheimer's yeah. and she's doing great work and she's bringing it here October 2nd 11 a.m. that is the ribbon cutting Fantastic. for her yeah and then of course um, October 5th fall festival which right. we'll, we'll talk about hearing, next yeah. week yeah next week we'll have a, a show on that yeah and then um, October 4th 5th and 6th wow there's the mystic pirate invasion right we might be talking about that today we might be we've got since a, my a, shirt gives right, a giveaway right we've got some great surprises for, Good surprises. for tonight's uh, show as well and the last thing I want you to save the date for is 12 12 19 yeah party of 12 a greater mystic chamber of commerce festive affair right right more details well, later yes yes because we don't have the details but see all the surprises for the 12 12 yes. uh, annual uh, it's actually our annual gala mm -hmm. and um, our, our big gala for the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce just a shout out because Kristen probably will never uh, tell you this but Kristen has been promoted and has uh, a wonderful title now and what oh. is that title oh membership director fantastic congratulations <gasps> Kristen because we change it, I'm well well deserved and uh, Kristen has and you you talk about the members um, not only mystic matters but she has a, a lot of facets I want to say to her job so congratulations Kristen thank you well deserved thanks so we're gonna go move on to one of our favorite favorite downtown mystic events. Yes, yeah, so the Mystic, uh, Downtown Mystic Merchants, they present the um, Mystic Pirate Invasion every year and that's going to be October 4th, 5th and 6th this year and we're going to talk a little bit about the details later but make sure you write that on your calendar and you get your pirate gear out. It's a must. The whole weekend long we're celebrating pirates mm -hmm. and it is a fundraiser for uh, Terry Broder and uh, so that'll be fun, the breast cancer. Yes. But we yeah. have a special guest here today. Yes, we do. We have from a very the special cast guest. <laughs> of characters. And perhaps you'd like to introduce her. Sure. Since... At this point in time, I'd love to introduce Carlene Serena Thornton. And if you look at Carlene uh, and how beautiful she looks this evening, but there may be a oh similarity. My. Uh, because there's sort of this whole um, sisterhood thing uh, going on this evening. But welcome, Carlene, to Mystic Matters, and we are so happy that you are here. And Pirates Invasion, how long, all I know is you've done this for so many years. So how many years have you done this? Uh, this will be my fifth year. We weren't able to perform last year, so five out of the last six years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so basically you have the art of dancing. I 
do. And when did you start this, Carly? Uh, well, I've actually been You know dancing. Kristen and I are jealous. Kristen, we're just jealous, but that's okay. I've offered to teach you. <laughs> I, Is this part, like, I can... No? <laughs> no. Okay. No, Kristen. This hope, this hope. <laughs> There's hope. <laughs> There's hope I've for me. I've been dancing more than half my life, um, studying a number of different genres, probably in the last 20 years, focusing on the world dances. So a little bit of hula, a little flamenco, um, and then more recently, a very ancient art of belly dance. Nice. So I have been studying belly dance and studying, teaching, and performing for 17 years now. That's great. That's really um, a, a very brave way to mm -hmm. embrace that kind of creativity, I think. And that it's got to be really... Um, I'm thinking about the physicality of it, like, you know, be disciplined, yes? Yes, there's a lot of discipline as opposed to the Western style of dance where uh, the dancers are typically interpreting a story, for example, like uh, the Nutcracker or Swan Lake. In this style of dance, we're interpreting the music, so um, many layers to the instrumentation, and we pride ourselves in being able to interpret the different nuances of all of the instruments that go into this type of dance. But you're at a level, uh, so you're at a professional level, and obviously you do this professionally, but you also have a troupe. How long do, do you think, in your estimation, does it take to get at this level? I studied privately for five years, and I continue to travel all around New England and New York, down to New Jersey, to study with master teachers. Mm -hmm. um, because like any other performing art, it's constantly evolving, and you always are learning from many different masters and trying to perfect your craft. Now, do you feel that it um, blends into your everyday life as well? Is there oh, a a, one, a, Car, a Carlene, and then there's all of a sudden a different dancing personality? Initially, it was two different personas, but it became my alter ego uh, during the day. I'm a human resources professional, so that's a very different type of work. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, I would teach classes and typically on the weekend performing. Uh, so. Ultimately, the two started to blend, and Serena became who I was known for in this area because beside the pirate invasion, um, I've done the Mystic Outdoor Art Festival. I did the Taste of Mystic for, for years. 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed that before it moved to another organization. Mm -hmm. And then the natural progression um, was the pirate invasion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here I am. So. What are we going to expect that day? I mean, can you just, it's, it's sort of a hint, but what are we going to expect, Carly? <laughs> so initially, I studied and performed the traditional style of Middle Eastern dance, or as it's known here in America, belly dance. Mm -hmm. um, but over the years, I would receive more and more requests to perform more mainstream types of uh, music and events. So uh, what I'll be dancing is really a fusion of the many different styles of dance. I'd say it's my own style, my own brand, so to speak. And I have two wonderful dancers. Uh, they trained with me for one for 10 years, one for 12 years. So they're very lovely dancers as well. I'm excited that they'll be performing with me. Wow. And you choreograph this whole thing? I do. I Is it your personal myself. choreographic? Yes. Okay. I have to feel the emotion uh, with the music, so I handpick the songs. Um, this year, actually, I have a very special song, which is my finale, um, because the pirate invasion is tied into raising funds for breast cancer. That's a cause that's very dear to me. Um, my beloved mother passed of breast cancer in 1994. So anytime I have the opportunity to donate either my time or my talents for this cause, I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, the song that I 
choreograph that will be my finale at the Pirate Invasion is called Stand By You. And it's a, a song of empowerment by Rachel Platten. And I will be dedicating it to the memory of my mom, excuse me, our mother, mm -hmm. Leontina Tebas. And I also want to dedicate it to all the fearless females who are breast cancer survivors. I'm proud to say Suzette is one of them, and it was just an amazing journey for Suzette and anyone who was involved along the path. And I think we all have been touched by someone who yeah. is a survivor of breast cancer. What a beautiful story. Yes, what absolutely. And it's so exciting, Carlene, to have you, and I uh, can't wait to see your fabulous performance. And the audience will be able to know uh, the depth of what it is you're mm -hmm. offering as well. Yes, you'll be able to talk to them and say, uh, this is what's happening, or? Well, perhaps I'll have someone announce, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe a little backstory mm -hmm. so they understand. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be performing a total of four songs, and that will be my finale. Now, do you usually find you know, the crowd gathers around, or is there a lot of distraction? Yes. Or? Uh, when I first performed there, it was distracting when the bridge would go off. I remember looking at video. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to dance. Bridge. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to dance very gracefully, and all of a sudden, the blasting, and you see my face yeah. on video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. So, I hope we don't have that on the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was... 2003 or four, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. recall, so many years ago. So now I anticipate it and, yeah. and it, it doesn't phase me. So distractions, no, in, in our dance especially, I think we feed off the energy okay. of the audience. Wow. And, yeah, right. Um, what I find is because we dance on the docks, that serves as our stage uh, prior to the uh, pirate invasion, um, people start off on the green in the Mystic River Park and I'll do a turn and they're just surrounded, you know, on wow. three sides nice. beside wow. the water. Beside but the water. We do get wow. some cheers by passing boats, so that's always fun. <laughs> so well, we're going to circle back with Carlene too, but what time will Carlene be on so, and Serena um, and her group? Serena and Sirens of the Sea, 11.40. Um, that's okay. on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Okay. Eleven forty-ish. Right. So we're going to circle like back with time. Carlene. What else do we have going on? Well, right before that, um, on well, starts Friday. So you can camp out and wait for Serena to uh, perform. <laughs> Camp out. We're going to camp out. So Friday, October 4th, uh, movie in the park, 6.30 p.m. Right. It's Peter Pan. Thanks to the Stonyton Human Resources. Okay. They are going to... Um, sponsor that. They sponsor that. Okay. They, you bring your, you bring your um, chair, you bring your blanket, mm -hmm. you bring your family, and you sit in the Mystic River Park and watch Peter Pan. Um, rain, I That's believe, always. cancels it out. Yeah, but, rain cancels it out. But, yeah. But we're not looking for rain. No. Yes. Yep. And then um, Saturday, October 5th is the Pirate Pub Crawl. We have a map of the Pirate Pub Crawl. <gasps> there right it is. There, see? So you dress in your finest pirate regalia, stroll through participating downtown watering holes and eateries. So we just want to um, name some of name those. Some of those. Right. So Captain Daniel Packer Inn, Friar Tuck's Tavern, Margarita's Mexican Restaurant, Pizzetta, Samurai Noodle, Engine Room, Chapter One, Harp and Hound. Now you don't I have my favorites. You don't have to drink at every single one, and well, we would prefer they call it a crawl. Yeah, that you wouldn't. You, you know, can, I, not at every single one, but they do call it a crawl. They do, but okay. you can get uh, water, and there's um, a poker run. So at each establishment, right. you get a card, and then you have a full hand, and then you see, you know, what your hand is, and then you win a prize. Right. If you have a good hand, I know nothing about poker, so. Sounds like you do, but that's I know okay. About, I know about okay. drinking, but I don't know about <laughs> poker, right? So that's um, Saturday, and the Pirates, uh, Free Men of the Sea, they are yes. going to be there, and they uh, start, and they you follow them around, and they sing shanties in every bar that they're at, and they're so much fun. They're a really great group of people. They're always um, willing to do stuff for the community just so they can have a ball. You know, they're at the every Mystic Every once in a while they scare too. you. You know, they're coming every right, right behind you, right. you know. And then on Sunday, the treasure hunt begins at 10 a.m., so the kids come down with the families. Mm -hmm. You get a map, and you go around to all the different stores that have booty. So there's a lot of different right. stores that will have some pirate booty, mm -hmm. and you pick it up, and um, you finish the treasure hunt. 
and you can buy a Mystic Pirate Invasion tee. T-shirt. There's all different kinds. We gotta get ourselves one of those, Carlene. Nice. That's what I, we've got to get one of those. Frank, show my, my, yes, my yes. tea there. Yes, Oh, right here. Yes, so this one, great. And then there's some there's stuff on the back. There's a little bit of DPI. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes, perfect. So Danny Packerin sells those, and uh, you can see it's. Uh, yeah, it's great. It, the part of the proceeds go to uh, breast cancer, and there are hostages being taken. Yes, I've experienced hostages. <laughs> I have experienced. It can be very... So at, at 1 yeah. o'clock, so the pirates invade at noon. Yes. They come in on the Argea, and they come in loud, and it's crazy. And they uh, kidnap some hostages. And they do. The hostages have to raise money to get free, and every shilling will go to the Terry Broder 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 Breast, Breast Cancer. Cancer Foundation. So we have a video here of a minute of this chaos and excitement. <laughs> if you'd like to show the video. there was a bunch of pirates That's okay of pirates. and shooting off their guns and and it's, so it's loud and it's noisy oh. but what you didn't see is that really the look on the faces in some of these kids they're just oh my god already you know who yeah. and some of it, it can be a little bit scary but i tell you when they invade downtown mystic for myself i look in the back yeah i'm always Right, like who's going to come out? It, it's right. it's just a, a a wonderful event uh, for Mister Downtown. So, Carlene, you're right in the middle of all this, right? <laughs> I know. Like when they come. Well, we're sort of the opening act prior to them actually okay. coming sailing in. down yes. the river. Yep. Oh, so wow. Pine Point Choir sings, and then um, Kicks Dance Center will yes. be there, and then Serena and Sirens of the Sea. Yes. So you're right before this whole crazy stuff happens? Yes. Well, we're the mermaids that are luring oh. the pirates. Oh, oh. And you know, we got this going on. They're the oh, mermaids luring the, the, the pirates in. That's you didn't good. know that, Kristen? No, I didn't because know Because I, I certainly it's didn't know It's because I'm not that. a mermaid, that's why. I know, I know. Well, so tell us, currently a little bit of what you have on today, too. It's a beautiful outfit. So I'm actually dressed as a mermaid. I didn't want to dress in full regalia, regalia. Yeah, but it is a little mermaid skirt. I've got the shells, That's the nice. starfish, the pearls, and we typically oh, nice. are dancing in the park with mermaid style costumes. Mm -hmm. And what I've found is there is actually a, an interesting correlation between the movements of our dance and movements of sea creatures, whether they're mermaids or um, octopus, because we all undulate in the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a very fascinating event for me. Yes, to, to showcase great. this style of dance yeah. and yeah, and to so be a part of the festivities. Uh, the two members that are dancing with me now, one for, I would say, 10 years, I believe, 10 or 11, and the other, over 12 years. Uh, so I started a dance troupe in 2005. Uh, at one point, I was up to eight members. Uh, but then life gets in the way. People have real jobs, and they have families and commitments, and it is a commitment to mm -hmm. come up with new material year mm -hmm. after year and practice, rehearse. So I'm thankful that I have Lisa and Susan who have mm -hmm. been loyal to me all these years. Yeah, and they've really done a great job. I've seen them dance. You have I mean, they're, many times. And I've seen the team just, just flow together so well. Um, but interestingly enough, you know, something about when Carlene does this and, and pulls all these 
it, it's it so many of the different artists come in and so you have so many different groups of people that come every year mm -hmm. because we hear this is Serena dancing or the the kickbox ki kids you know the kids are, are coming Kristen what is your favorite part of this event because I know you're down there all the time but what is your favorite part well my favorite you, part you, you sort of help with Sandra and the group put it all together but what is your favorite part um it's when the militia comes at two o'clock <laughs> yeah and they chase the pirates out of town <laughs> and they so I've seen that another boat comes and they um and they've got cannons too and the boats if the weather is right and mm -hmm. if the current is right then they can do this but they haven't been able to do it every year because sometimes the weather, right, the and weather the current doesn't is not yeah. right and it's too dangerous so when it's going good then um another boat comes through the bridge and they got cannon, you know, they mm -hmm. jump off and they're the militia and they're like, da, 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 you know, they march and they're not all crazy. They're all like very regimented and they chase the pirates back onto their boat. They get back on their boat and then they're in the Mystic River, actually these two boats shooting at each other. <laughs> and then they, they, chase, them, yeah, at they each chase them right back yeah. through the bridge. And the everybody's like, yay, it. we yeah. are saved yeah. the town, you know. And then comes the costume contest at two o'clock. I think the costume contest is one of my favorites too. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I just to look on, on some of these kids. So Carly, you, I mean, you and I grew up in downtown Mystic. I mean, we that literally did. was a stopping, uh, literally. Right. I mean, grew up downtown Mystic. It was very different then. And, and so how do you feel coming back to your hometown, uh, being able to, to perform on the bridge where we really, literally grew up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, how does that make you feel, coming back to oh. Mystic? I'm proud to be a part of this community. Um, Mystic was very different, obviously, when we grew up, mm -hmm. but any time I have an opportunity, as everyone knows you do as well, we um, to town. support the community, or in this case, the, the downtown Mystic merchants in their support of Terry Broder Breast Cancer Foundation, mm -hmm. I'm happy to donate my time mm -hmm. for that. But yes, I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm a Mystic native. We were Mystic natives long before it became cool <laughs> to live in Mystic. <laughs> you know, I, I we speak as Kristen has heard these stories probably uh, somewhere along that, but with people would ask us where the, you know, the seaport is or Abbott's lobsters. And, you know, some of us would say, yeah, well, you, you take, you go up the street. Abbott's but you, left, left and right. Left, yeah, we would say left, left, right, do whatever. Because the, speaking of invasion, uh, the tourist invasion really wasn't at the height, mm -hmm. but it was starting to because, you know, you, you, you brought in um, the aquarium that was in the 70s. And Carlene was one of the first employees employee of, the of the Mystic Aquarium. How about um, that? Yeah. Uh, so she was there, but the, the Mystic Seaport had been there. But we, we would laugh because uh, having tourists come to your area was sort of an invasion. Mm. <laughs> It was an invasion. Yes. I mean, we didn't have them like we have them now. We're grateful for tourism. I mean, it is, it is probably the engine uh, that feeds uh, Mystic. So we're very, very grateful. But when you're a kid growing up in downtown Mystic, and it happens every so often, you know, the summertime and maybe the fall, you don't want them in your town. Right. And, and this like, is, you know, there's still a contingency that doesn't right. want a lot of people in town, which is understandable when the traffic gets to be uh, quite a bit. But the so the downtown Mystic merchants, one of the ideas and the Mystic Chamber of Commerce, um, the ideas behind the events right. that we do right, is right. to bring people into town so that um, the businesses can mm -hmm. flourish. So mm -hmm. usually the, the businesses on the main strips and um, you know the attractions, they say to us, please figure out a way to bring people into town. Right. So usually events will do it. And right. um, Sandra Chapman, who is... Oh, we forgot to mention, we have to mention Sandra. Yes, so Sandra yeah. Chapman was uh, the brainchild behind this, and she'll say it was somebody else, maybe Laura Capshaw yeah. Kramer. Um, they do a, a Gasparilla festival down right, in Tampa right, that she right. is. So the two of them came together and started this. Yeah, um, we should mention that too, because that was really their, um, their idea. Yeah. Oh, and Leo it. from Harp and Hound, mm -hmm. like uh, in the beginning. So the three of them got together and just it just took off because pirates. I mean, we've always been talking about shipbuilding and it's not as sexy as pirates. Right, right, right. right and mermaids, right, come right. on. Right, but if you, if you think about it, it's all that fusion. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that it comes is. together with the pirates and the sea and yeah. and the dance and the water. And so all of that really is is, is an infusion of uh, uh, people coming in and, and mystic and being able to experience and, and having some hometown people as well uh, giving back to uh, their community. So we just want to mention again, when is it? Um, it's and, October 4th, 5th, and 6th. Okay. And I wanted to thank some of the sponsors. Yes, that's very important. Um, Hartford Healthcare is, they've been very generous all over town. Um, right. New they're... coming to the area off of Jerry Brown Road, but they've had uh, certain uh, uh, places that they've opened up to along mm-hmm. the Mystic side and the Pocketic side. Yeah, um, Hilton Mystic Market Realty, Judy Caracosa, Caracosa who very, I just very talked important. to yes, today. And, and thank you, Judy. Ste- uh, Steamboat Inn, that's Sandra Chapman, she's the innkeeper there. Hoyt Filippetti and Maligan, is that oh, how you yeah. say that? Yes. All yeah. right. Um, Tidal River Clothing Company, that's um, Stephanie uh, mm-hmm. and Jim from Tidal River. I forget their last I forget name. their last name, Marshall. Too, but Stephanie and Jim. But we, they we, are we also you. very generous, and they have um, two and a half stores, mm-hmm. I think, by the time yes. this <laughs> has aired. It might not that's be a true. secret. That's true. Yeah. I'm so yeah, bad at that. I'm okay. Not about that. Um, the Whalers Inn and Sail Away Argia, mm-hmm. um, Free Men of the Sea, and then Stonington Human Services and uh, Stonington Parks and Recreation. So those are some of the sponsors. Right. And we want to thank you very much, all the sponsors. And there are volunteers, too. There are some right? volunteers that'll, um, help out. that'll help out a little bit. But uh, the committee's pretty much got it down. Amy Munoz. Oh, mm-hmm. she just changed her last name, too. She just got married. She Amy did. Wagner. Amy, that's correct. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Um, they're, they're a big part of what's going on in Mystic yeah. right now, what's yeah. happening. You know? So just a shout out to all of you uh, who have been participating in the Pirates uh, invasion. Every year, it's been on, what year is it now? It's the sixth. Six yes, year. And, Carly, and Carly was, you missed yeah. one, but she's back again. Serena Thornton, Carly and Serena Thornton, and her troop will be back again on Sunday. So you got to see her and everybody else that has participating in this invasion. So um, welcome you back, Kristen. We're back on schedule, you and you better. Better, better be there uh, during that weekend, and we hope to see you there. So we are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. We're Mystic Matters, and we're going to see you next week. 